spirit of the living God. Hello, excuse me. Um, can I talk to you? Yes. Well, um, as I was coming towards you, the spirit of God opened my eyes to see some things about you. You are Jessica, right? Yes. Have we met before? No. So, how did you get to know my name? <laughs> well, the Spirit of God revealed your name to me and everything about you. I am Prophet Silas, the prophet of truth and justice. As I was coming towards you, I saw a lot of things about you. But let me start with what I am seeing presently. I can see in the spirit that what you have in your hand, in that envelope, is the picture of your boyfriend. Is that correct? Yes. So how did you get to know? The Spirit of God has revealed to me your mission even as we speak. I can see a name, Raymond. Who is Raymond? He's my current boyfriend. Current boyfriend. Thank you for using that word, current boyfriend, because I can see in the spirit that you have dated about six boyfriends before him. Is that correct? Now let me ask you, why do you want to take Raymond's picture to a witch doctor? Because I can see you are heading to a witch doctor's house so that he can compel Raymond to get married to you. Is that correct? Yes. And I can also see in the spirit that about four of your boyfriends that you dated, you took their pictures to different prayer houses, different spiritual houses, so that they would pray and make them marry you. But you had no result. This time around, you decided to try a witch doctor. That is why you decided to take the picture of Raymond so that this one will not live without getting married to you. Is that correct? Yes. But let me ask you, if you can be sincere to yourself, if you are a man, would you like to marry you? You know that you cannot marry yourself because you have a very toxic behavior. You have a bad character. You insult people anyhow. You have no value for people around you. You have no respect for men. You have anger issue. How do you think a man with vision would like to settle down with somebody like you? Because as far as I'm concerned, every responsible man would want to settle with a woman that will give him peace. I can see a name in the spirit, Obina. Hey. Who is Obina? My former boyfriend. Your former boyfriend. That guy saw Shege in your head. He received a lot of humiliation and insults from you. To the point that there was a day you slapped him publicly just because you suspected he was talking to another girl. There is no way you can have this kind of behavior and the marriage will work as you desire it. No, because responsible men can settle down with women that cannot give them peace. So you seriously need to work on yourself. Yes, you need to work on yourself. You need to change. You need to be determined to change some certain characters that are not good in your life so that you can attract men to yourself. If you cannot be able to change, forget it. Even if you try to get this guy now by going to a witch doctor, a day shall come when the charm will spoil. His eyes will be cleared. Then you begin to see reality. Just work on yourself. Be a woman that you yourself would like to marry. Then watch out and see that the men you desire we get married to you. Are you getting me? Yes. Try and do something about your behavior. Then you see that everything will be settled. God bless you. 